let's discuss a programming question binary tree zigzag level order traversal so in this problem we have given a binary tree and we have to write a code to return the zigzag level order traversal of its nodes value so we are already familiar with level order traversal so in level order traversal we traverse a binary tree level by level so we start with this level we visit all the nodes present at this level then we move to next level and visit all the nodes present at the this level and so on so how zigzag level order traversal is different from level order traversal so in zigzag level order traversal we start from we start from this level and we traverse this level we visit all the nodes of this level from left to right then we move to next level and in this level instead of moving from left to right we move from right to left so we moved from right to left so we move in this direction then in next level again we move from left to right and then again we then in next level we move right to left it means we have to start from left to right then uh, from right to left for the next level and alternate between so let's see the output of this example so we have to start from left to right it means we visit in this direction for this level so only one node is there so three in next level we have to move from right to left so it means first 20 then 9 so we get 20 and 9 and in this level we have to again move from left to right so first we visit this node then this node so 15 and 7 is the answer so this is the output and this is the problem statement and now let's discuss how we can solve this problem let's discuss how we can solve this problem so the idea here is to identify the level so that we know when we have to move from left to right and when we have to move from right to left so what we can do is we can do the level order traversal and we take one more variable level which help us to identify the direction of visit so what I mean is now let's say I'm taking one variable level and I'm saying this level is at, uh, z uh, at, at, at 0, this level is at 1 and this level is at 2. So we have to start in this direction from left to right. So we have to visit this level from left to right direction. Then the le next level should be from right to left then uh, then again this level uh, we have to visit from left to right direction so if you see so all the even number levels we visit from left to right direction and all the odd numbers level we visit from right to left direction so now the logic is whenever uh, we encounter the even uh, number level we visit in left to right and whenever we encounter the odd number we visit from right to left so in this function we have given the root node of a binary tree and we have to return the list of list of integers so from each level we get the list of integers and finally we we add in this uh, list we add all the uh, list for when we visit this level we get list of integers so we add them in this result list again when we visit this level we get the list of integers so we add them in result list so we uh, we have to return this list of list of integers as an as a result so now uh, let's see the logic so for uh, for doing so here i am using bfs so for doing uh, the level order traversal we need one data structure q so let me draw it and initially so let me add some columns and then initially i add root node in this queue so q is a first in first out data structure the element which we enqueued first is the first element to be dequeued and now i have declared one variable level which is initialized with zero so this loop will run until the queue is not empty so initially the queue so now the queue is not empty as we have added the root node then here i am uh, taking uh, so i am 
so what's the size of q so in this uh, uh, in this statement i am assigning the size of a q so here the size of a q is 1 and to keep uh, to keep the result to keep the node values of a level i have declared list of integers then i am running a loop from 0 to length so it means for this level this loop will run once and then I pull this value so this value will be dequeued and we get this node and then I am checking whether it's left and right children is not null so yes left and right children is not null so let them add in a queue so first the left children which is 9 then the right children which is 20 is added and then here is the condition if the level is even so let me add them in this result list so let me uh, draw this list so this is even so simply add three here in this list and then after that uh, after one iteration we came out of this loop we increment the value of level and we add them in a result list so let me uh, just write it down so in this result list first this is added so first this three is added and then in next iteration again we get the size of uh, this queue so the size of this queue is 2 and we run this loop twice so first this node is pulled and we check its left and right so both the children of this node are null so we don't have to add anything in a queue then we check whether this level is even or odd so this level is odd so what we have to do is we have to add so in a list so let me declare one list for this level and at 0th index we have to add this value so at 0th index 9 is added now uh, in next iteration 20 is pulled, uh, pulled and we check its left and right children now the left and right children of 20 is there so let me add them so 15 and then 7 so first we add left then we write uh, then we add right so this level is so we check this condition is this uh, even uh, so this level is even or odd so it is odd so let so add this result at zeroth index so what it means is so 20 is added here and 9 is there and then we came out of this loop so we increment the value of level and we add this list of value in our result list so we add this list of value in our result list so here this 20 and 9 is added so this is a result list which we declare here now in next iteration again uh, the length of this queue is 2 and we run this loop twice so 15 is pulled and we check its left and right children both are null so nothing to be added in a queue and this level is even so what it means is so let me declare one uh, result list and uh, 15 is added here and then in next iteration 7 is dequeued so we can say pulled and then again its left and children uh, left and right children is null and this level is even so now this statement so 7 is added here and after this iteration we came out of this loop and we increment the level and we add them in a result list so we add them here so 15 and 7 is added and then now the queue is empty so when we go for next iteration this condition fails and we came out of this loop and we result this result list we return this result list and this result list is a zigzag level order traversal of a binary tree so we get this output now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is on we are visiting all the nodes uh, of a binary tree and what about its space complexity its, it's a space complexity is also when we are using additional space in the form of q data structure so this is the one way to solve this problem and if you know any other approach you can let us know through your comment section so that other people who are watching this tutorial get the benefit 
uh, from your approach so they will get uh, some benefit from it and that's it for uh, this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this tutorial